Penicillus are shaving brush are salt water aquarium plants that do a great job at absorbing excess nutrients like nitrates and phosphates from the water. They are usually not fed on by most fish and invertebrates except sea urchins. Plant the penicillus in the substrate and make sure the area is well lit. If you had an iron supplement and trace elements regularly your penicillus should thrive. Penicillus has a hard calcium carbonate skeleton like alameda and coralline algae and will do well across a range of conditions. What about macroalgae? Macroalgae are saltwater aquarium plants that come in a variety of different shapes and sizes. They are to be found in a range of colors, red, green, brown and blue. These saltwater aquarium plants are able to photosynthesize. This means they use a pigment called chlorophyll to make their own food for growth and other functions. In general these saltwater aquarium plants get most of the nutrients they need from the water in the marine tank. These include nitrates and phosphates. This makes them good allies in keeping your tank clean. You will need moderate to strong light for the growth of macroalgae. The way to avoid macroalgae growing out of control is to control the environment in which it lives. This means the water chemistry and amount of available light. So are there bad saltwater aquarium plants? Certain kinds of algae can become problematic in a marine tank. Bubble algae is one of the most common pest saltwater aquarium plants. Bubble algae forms green bubbles on any hard surface, for example live rock. It can occur in masses of bubbles or single, or in small groups of big bubbles. The bubbles might be smooth or rough. Bubble algae look nice, but they aren't. 